Hello fantastic people, I hope you are doing great. If you like sea games you are in the right place because today we will generate random islands. Let's start by creating a simple tile map. First I click right mouse button, 2D object, tile map and hexagonal flat top. Awesome. I leave all the mm, default settings and one important thing to notice here, if we go to the grid, we'll notice that the cell size in the x-axis is not 1. We need to copy this value because we'll need it in the second. The reason it is not 1 is just to make um, those hexagons look a little bit nicer. If we change it to 1, you'll see um, they are some a little bit stretched so and and the thing why they are um, stretched now vertically instead of horizontally even though we change the x um, axis is basically um, because we selected the top um, top flat if we would select the um, the point top i think it's called um, I think it's called point top. Then they would be um, set in different direction and the one would change it actually in the horizontal axis. So that's the reason. Now let's create our palette. Um, palette is like a collection of uh, tiles, of sprites that we can draw with on the tile map. To do that we go to window, to the tile palette. Now we, cl uh, we click on the create new palette, we name it island, select grid type hexagonal, hexagon type flat top and we change the cell size from automatic to manual and we change the X to the one from the grid size. Now we click create and we'll need a folder for that. So we, I, I at least had created already the tile maps folder, I go there and create another folder called um, island palette awesome and i save everything inside this palette now to add a tile into it i just need to drag a sprite onto the um, tile palette and save it let's call it grass and as you see, I can select it here and I can draw with it. Whoops, no, that's wrong because I left the wrong, um, wrong cell swizzle. So I want to change it back to YXZ, which is the, um, the right type of the hexagonal map. We beautiful. Let's clean up the tile map. And before we write any code, let's discuss how we'll implement the uh, island generation. So let me open the um, professional drawing tool. Awesome. Um, so it will be pretty, pretty simple. We'll have a circle or rather we'll have a point. So we'll have a center of this circle. Let's say it's here. Now what we'll do, we'll draw a line from it to the right side and basically we'll select point somewhere on that line. So for example here. here. And obviously we'll do that randomly, right? So we'll select any position on that between two given values because we'll have to limit it. So for example here and here and our point was here. Then what we'll do, we'll rotate that line also a random amount of degrees and those degrees also will be configurable. So let's say something between we so let's say the minimal will be something like that and the maximum will be something like that. So this is our random angle. Now again I will select using the same limits another point then I will move it. So basically we'll move it randomly blah, all the time. Something like 
this will happen until the circle um, is closed, so until we reach the end. On each of those we selected the um, point. Whoops, I changed it. Sorry. I'm not very good with my professional tools. Um, now what we'll do, we'll connect those. Uh, you see, I'm terrible with it. Now what we'll do, we'll connect those points. So here, 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 here. Over here, over here, and over here. And this will give us the general shape of the um, of the island. This will be um, assigned to the collider. So we'll assign those points to the collider. Uh, and then what we'll do, we'll basically search for the bounding box of that. So let's say that's our bounding box. And starting from this position, we'll just go and check each position every some set the distance. And if and if we touch the collider or if we collide with the collider we draw here the hex. So here we have also hex, then we don't have, then in this line we have hex here, 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 and here we don't have, right? So I hope you get the point. And basically that's how we generate our beautiful island. Okay, so it's time for the island builder script. Let's create it. There, awesome. Open it. Okay, first a little bit of cleanup. Now we need several um, serialized variables. Serialize field. So we'll need two for um, limits. So private float um, mean radius and serialized field for the max. So basically those will say how how close to the center of the circle or, or how far from the center the point can be maximally. <coughs> okay, so those are two, then we need another two for the, um, for the limits of the degrees of the rotation of the line. Okay, so serialize field. First one will be mean degrees. And then max degrees. Awesome. So we have four of them. And now, as I said before, we'll need to um, assign all generated points to D polygon collider so we'll have to store it here also and as we want to um, have the reference to it we should grab it also in the start method okie dokie collider get component polygon collider 2d awesome so that's the starting point. Mm, we'll also need a central position. No, that will be just the position of the transform, so that is okay. Um, but we'll need a mm, function or method that will allow us to rotate vector 2D. So basically our line, in fact, will be vector 2. So there is no mm, like default method to do that. So let's create my favorite extension method. Yay. So vector2 mm, extensions 
extensions. I feel I misspelled it. No, it's all right. Okay. Now, let's make it static. And now, public static vector2, this vector2 vector and now we'll need whoops rotate awesome and now we need to actually rotate it so return uh, did it did it did it and we want to do quaternion Euler 0 in X 0 and in Y and now number of degrees in the z-axis so this will just give us rotation now we want to multiply that by our vector and this will give us vector 2 rotated by um, this rotation so um, in case you don't know what is happening here so quaternion uh, Euler gives us just those rotations on each transform so we have convenient way of working with um, with rotations right so we can put their number between 0 and 330 actually more and less uh, than that too but uh, I think you get the point and what why it why it is um, z-axis it's basically you see I dropped the sprite here and if I modify z-axis I am rotating the sprite in our 2D space. So that's the reason I'm assigning the, um, the Euler degrees to z-axis and then I multiply it by vector to have it exactly the same um, length as our vector. So that should do it. Okay, so we have method to rotate our um, line ready. Now let's get back to the island builder and let's prepare some helper methods. So first of all, we'll need a method um, to give us number of uh, degrees and the limit of distance from the center. So first let's go with the um, calculated, uh, calculating radius. So um, that will be float, get random <coughs> distance from center. To have that we can just return, uh, okay, mean, no, random. So we generate random number in range between the mean radius and the max radius sorry yeah max radius awesome so that will do it then we want also a similar one for the degrees so get random line rotation let's call it like that not perfect name but will do for now return random range and here we also want mean degrees and max degrees awesome so here we have that then let's create the array to store our vertices so let's make it vector two because those will be points right um, in the 2d space so vector two uh, will be our points and let's call it um, vertices awesome and now we'll need a method to generate random mm, vertices do, 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 do. vector two generate vertex and for that we will need central position that will be transform position then a horizontal line so we can do that doing creating new vector 2 
of course we want it of the right length so here we get the um, result of our um, get random distance from center method actually I think just get random distance will do it it will be a little bit shorter awesome and now the other um, parameter will be zero because we don't want it rotated at this point we want it to be um, pointing to the right awesome that will do it now we want to rotate it so now var rot rotated line and we want the horizontal line rotated and number of degrees will be get random line rotation fantastic now we have rotated the line and the point that we want will be basically so this horizontal line right if we get the coordinates of of the of this vector like it, its end will be somewhere so here would be the center and on the right from it we would have the mm, the point then we rotate it right so we have it somewhere there but then it's in no space like right this one is based on the zero position so we want to move it so it's mm, basically we want to move this vector to the central position so to do that we basically do rotate it line so our rotated vector plus center and this will give us doo -doo 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 -doo. okay that's vector three we don't like it we want it to be vector two and we have our vertex generated okay so it's time to generate our island let's create a method for that it can be point generate island now we'll have um, to generate vertices in a loop uh, and to do that we have to have smart condition and our condition will be the total rotation so as we know um, basically we move the line around right and once it reaches the end so when it's it rotated 360 degrees or more we don't want to um, get any new points actually it has to be less than 360 because if it will be 360 we'll have uh, two points at the zero line so at the not rotated line okay so here we have to do small modification but before we do that let's just create the condition so total rotation less than 360 or we can even make it slightly different so let's do that and if our um, so total rotation plus new rotation which we'll get from get random line rotation awesome so that will give us total rotation from the um, from the zero right so on the first it will be for example 20 degrees if we have to, on another round 20 that will be 20 which we already had previously plus new 20 40 degrees then we get random for example 30 so we'll have 40 which we had previously and we'll have another 30 which will give us 70 and so on so on so we actually are interested in the total rotation not in the um, single time rotation let's call it so we have to make a um, parameter for that in our generate vertex method let's call it rotation and now when we generate the vertex let's just pass the total rotation as the parameter and in fact we don't even need to store it we can drop it automatically or straight away into the array but I just realized I don't like arrays because we would have to generate the points check how many we have and so on then create the array of the right length or do something crazy like that so when we don't know how many uh, vertex vertices we actually going to have it's much better to have least so let's change it to least awesome import and now let's add it to the to the list 
awesome that should do it now we have because we have the condition true we have to break out of the loop if we reached um, the goal so if our total rotation is more or equal 360 then break awesome so we have all the vertices now we have to assign them to the uh, polygon collider to do that we simply take the collider we go two points and we assign it the array and as you see it actually expects the array so we have to convert our list to array which is pretty simple we can just do vertices to array and done this will generate the um, the collider for us the collider shape but we also have to trigger this method somehow so let's just create the update method inside of it let's just check get key down so let's check if we press space and if we do then let's generate the island awesome so let's just check what error do we have here oh we did not pass the rotation parameter to the uh, rotate rotate method okay let's test it out let's get back to unity remove the hex we won't need it anymore here then we create a empty object call it island and we can assign as our, uh, our script to it island builder fantastic let's reset it transform so it's in the center let's give it the um, polygon collider 2d we'll need that now uh, we want to clear the points so we want that to be zero can it can it be zero yes it can fantastic now we need to set some um, values so let's say minimum radius will be two maximum will be five minimal degree minimum degrees will be five and maximum 20 and let's see what we get so we start the scene we click space we go to the scene and check the whoops we have an exception of course we have because we did not create the list and actually it's better to clean it be clear it before we generate the island so let's do that as a first action in our generate island method here now once again let's restart the uh, the scene let's now press space no errors there awesome we get here we open our island and we have our beautiful island now let's get back press space once again back to the stand and we have our island so everything is working awesome now let's try to turn it into the actual uh, tiles okay so let's create a method for that let's call it private void draw tiles and first of all I think we have to do is to get the reference to the tile map we have multiple ways to do that <laughs> the simplest one will be to get the tile map here and then just try to grab it inside the start method so now let's do get component in parent of type utility tile map awesome and for it to work we have to make sure that our island is child of the tile map to do that we just drag it until uh, under the tile map awesome now we get back to the script we go back to the draw tiles method and we clear the tile map of course you don't have to do that if you want to have multiple um, islands uh, you you have to think uh, what would be your use case uh, but because i want just to have one island in the central position i prefer to clear all the tiles um, before that okay now we need to calculate the 
uh, bounds. So we need to calculate or check where is the uh, left bottom corner of the collider and the top mm, right. Like so, when we draw when we draw the rectangle around them, uh, where are those two mm, points? So to do that, we can get bounds from the collider. So collider bounds, awesome. And inside of them we'll have center. So bounce center. And the collider also has the information about the extents. Extents. So bound extents. And this is enough for us to calculate the points. So for the left bottom we want to subtract from the center the extents. Now for the uh, top right we want to add the extents to the center. Um, basically so this gives us the center of the rectangle and the extent is basically the mm, the amount or the distance from the center to the edge of the collider. So center plus that will give us the, the edge. Mm, and because it is vector free, it will give us the corner in the 3D space. So we have left bottom, we have right top. And now we need to mm, iterate like we want to check different positions. Mm, the most optimal way would be to actually go with checking the um, basically the positions based on the tile size, uh, but that would take a little bit to implement. So let's just set the mm, some small constants of private and let's check. So float const uh, const sorry the other way around const float and let's call it check size. Let's do 0.2, that will be okay. And now we need to iterate through um, all the positions in the X and Y axis. So for that, we'll need to for loops. In the first one, we are start with the left bottom X. And now we want every, uh, every round to increase that. Sorry, no, now condition. So we until it is less than right top x. And now we want to increase it by the check size. Awesome. And inside that we need another loop, this time for y axis, for left bottom, uh, bottom y, x, no, y smaller than right top y and then we want to increase it by the check size so this will iterate through all the positions like trrrt, 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 actually from the bottom from bottom left to uh, top right and now we want to check if at that given position um, we have collision so we can do colli collider it's overlap point awesome and the point will be new vector 2, x and y. So if we have collision, so if they overlap, then we want on the tile map to set the tile. Mm, and now we have to provide it uh, three, two informations, sorry. First one is the position. Mm, but as you see, it requires the vector free int, so it is not interested in the coordinates in the word, but rather in the mm, tile number. So we have to convert the position in the word to the, mm, the the cells numbers. So to do that, we can use the tile map, and there should be method um, to let's check d -d 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 -d. cell to local. No, local, oh, beautiful, word to cell, beautiful. That is what we need. We give it new vector three, x, y, and zero. 
that will do it and then the other uh, is the tile we need now we don't have reference to that so let's create just serialized field private tile base and and let's call it grass tile now we grab this add to our method and this should be enough to actually generate the island let's call it after generating uh, the shape in the update method now we just need to assign tile to our island so assets and tile maps island here we have our grass uh, tile base so here we have the variable and let's see if everything works as expected we and we have our islands in the meanwhile have a fantastic day love you and bye bye